Hello everybody and welcome to part 11 of the Single Mom Life LP and happy Harvest Fest! You can already see Ambrose enjoying his breakfast while he's about to. So yeah, that's what we're gonna celebrate today. We will probably also see our new handyman. No, not handyman, farm hand, sorry. But we'll see about that. For now, let's just get started with this video. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come? Ambrose, my buddy, go ahead and dig in. Your sister Margot is on her way to also eat something. Oh no, she wants to clean up, right? Because she's neat. That is so cute. Oh my god, why is it so dark outside? No, no, that's just over there. Yeah, it's a beautiful Harvest Fest morning. As you can see, it's really nice weather outside. That direction is quite dark, but in this direction it's looking very beautiful. And Maisie is already checking on her plants while well, she's talking to them, if that counts. But why don't you hire another farmhand just so c someone can take care of everything while we uh, celebrate Harvest Fest. We will again just get the one-time farmhand. Hopefully it works better this time. We will see if it's Seji again, the guy who came last time or someone else. I don't know. And oh my god, the gnome is standing right in front of our door. That's kind of creepy. Um, and Maisie, why don't you decorate the house? I don't think we have Harvest Fest decorations up already. Just so we can complete the first tradition. Yay! That is really cute. Ah, I love that you two are just sitting in the kitchen chatting, having a really slow and comfortable morning. And these two sisters, look at them. They're both so pretty. Yeah, and they're all feeling really, really happy as well. So that is good. And the kids do love the tradition um, with the gnome. So kids why don't you get started with that um are there any gnomes inside no oh the one outside has left as well where are all the gnomes okay i don't know if this lot is just too big so the gnomes are spread out and i can find them oh they're upstairs they're all in the bathroom okay then go ahead and appease the gnome with some pie i think they like that and Ambrose is gonna try with some coffee. I don't know. Why don't you all try something different and you are gonna try with a toy. I don't even know if they have enough space for it because uh, this bathroom is quite small. Okay, he did not like that. Oh my god. Um, plead for forgiveness. Oh no, they're all mad. Beg for forgiveness. Okay, Noel did good though. Yours likes you. Thank god. You too? Uh oh. Can kids die from gnomes? I don't know. Okay, well, the tradition is still complete, so I guess that's what counts. And did that farmhand even arrive? Oh, yeah, it's Seji again. Okay, so I guess we have to stick with him. As long as he doesn't bother our kids, I don't mind. I wanna allow him to come inside here as well. Allow access to. Let's unlock and then. Lock door for all chickens, I guess. I had it set to everyone was but household members so that the chickens can't get out and the foxes can't get in. But I don't know any other way to let the um, farmhand in. So hopefully the foxes will leave us alone. Yeah, you see he's already cleaning out um, the sheds. I think it's working. But I mean the kids can still... Um, talk to the animals, you know, make friends with them. I think that's really important, especially Ambrose. He loves animals, any kind of animal. So why don't you pet Napoli and, I don't know, tell him a joke about her. Sorry, tell her a joke about legendary milk. Sounds good enough. And to be honest, Maisie, you should probably already get started on the Harvest Fest dinner, but I don't know if we have all the ingredients. We can do a ham dinner or a turkey dinner. And I think we're gonna do a ham dinner, why not? Oh, Ambrose likes dancing. Yeah, you can like that. Oh no, the fridge is broken. Oh, Can we hire a repair, repair service? That's gonna be so sad because, um, in case you don't remember, Maisie's dead husband was a handyman, so... 
that's gonna remind her of him. But I mean, it's Harvest Fest. She's gonna think about him and her dead parents one way or the other. Oh, and Margot has a question. The best void critter. Ooh, sweetie, I don't care. They're both equally powerful, to be honest. Um, Maisie's gonna be like, what even is a void critter? I don't know. Oh, but Margot is so hungry. Why don't you um, grab a snack already? But I mean, you can wait, I guess. <laughs> She's joining the cooking. That is so cute. She's like, Mom, can I help you with anything? Oh, Margot is such a sweetheart, even though she's so hungry. Okay, Ambrose, what are you doing? You went to the toilet and Noelle... Oh, she's just upstairs getting ready. Oh, she's fixing it herself? No, I wanted you to hire a service. Hire a repair service, because I don't want you to get struck by anything. Uh, we don't want another death in this family and with the water. I don't know. I'm scared and I don't want everyone to eat just yet Because I want to invite some people over To celebrate harvest fest with us plan an event for that Maybe that'll be easier. Maybe we can just have a dinner party Yeah, we don't need a gold event anyways, so that is fine. Maisie of course will be the host all of our kids are invited and let's just invite some townspeople maybe Garrett and Abby of course I wish I could invite Garrett's daughter as well but we don't know her we haven't met her yet and Kim can come because she doesn't have a family we know that Cecilia is single so maybe she wants to come um, I think the mayor has different plans these two have a family so they are probably spending that with them could ask Seji to join us but I mean I need him to take care of the farm maybe also Michael I don't know let's call Michael we don't need a caterer and we are gonna have the party now I guess it's just just gonna start immediately um, and while we wait for the guests to oh wait we can't cook anything because the fridge is broken I think we can still cook anything no I think we can still cook um, then why don't you also bake something, Maisie? Oh, you can't because we don't have any eggs. I mean, we have chickens outside. That should be good enough. Let's collect some eggs and just wait for the guests and stuff to arrive. Kim is already on her way. You see her strutting. And there's the handyman. Oh my god, Maisie collected 39 eggs. Oh, one is hatchable, so let's put that one right back. Oh my god. That is a lot. I think we have to go um, sell some stuff tomorrow. We definitely have to, but for now, let's just put them in the fridge. And I mean, we can bake later. For now, I think we're just gonna have the dinner. Margot, <laughs> you already gra grabbed dinner? That is not okay. Let's put the plate over here and call everyone to the grand meal. This is so chaotic. Kim, what are you doing upstairs, huh? Those two are just in the bathroom chatting. I mean, I guess that's okay. But you all need to come downstairs. Because Maisie is calling you to eat. Come on, everybody. I know some of you are upstairs outside, but that bell is probably loud enough for you to hear me, right? Garrett is here, so we can get to know him a little bit. Because, you know, we don't have the greatest relationship with him yet. Him and Abby are still quite new. Let's ask him about the food. How do you like it? Oh, you see, it's a, a Friendsgiving. I love that. Why are you looking at this? Mm, no. Um, but let's um, be grateful to him. Because, you know, we're, we are really happy that our bestie has found such an amazing partner. Someone who cares about her and cares for her as well. Oh my god, the gnomes. We'll take care of that later. Um, yeah, and here's some more people. Noelle, why don't you talk to Aunt Abby? I know you two love each other. Also, of course, talk to Kim. Make fun of adults. I don't know if she'll appreciate that. <laughs> Oh, and everyone's having such a great time. Yay! And these two are just catching up, you know. Since you moved out, my grades haven't been that great. Grades haven't been that great. Oh, she's singing. Cute. Oh, no, Abby's singing. Cute. Oh, my God. I just realized that you don't hear anything. Oh, no. I already recorded an episode of the Jesse LP and I guess you didn't hear anything in that one either. Sorry. Oh. No, you should hear it. Oh, uh -huh. why are you mad? Oh, oh no. Oh. Don't, baby. 
Oh, now I hate myself. Why are you like that? That's creepy. Don't be like that. Oh my god, I'm so mad at myself now, but... Nothing I can change about that, you just didn't hear anything. At least I noticed now and didn't go the whole video without any audio like it did in the other video. I am embarrassed. But Maisie, thank Abby for coming. Um, you really missed her, I know that. Ask how she liked the meal that she cooked. Oh, here you are. I was looking for Maisie. Um, yeah, just catch up, you guys. What are you doing over here? I think you're doing pretty great. Cecilia and Mako are chatting as well. Who knows? Maybe those two will hit it off. And Patchy is cleaning up. This is perfect. I have to take a picture of this. This is so cute. A cute little Thanksgiving dinner, or well, late lunch, I guess, early dinner, I don't know. And Noelle is so confident, she's such a cute little girl. Um, oh, is that fire milk? For a second I thought, Maisie, what do you have in your hand? I mean, it, she did that autonomously, I don't know. Isn't that gonna make you angry? What I was saying, Noelle is so confident and she, no, she doesn't have a problem holding a conversation with two adults. Really proud of her, she's so cute. Offer Finchwick favor, Oh, I guess give her your ham dinner. <laughs> that is really weird, I think that's an empty plate, but I don't care. Oh, Maisie is Michael's pairing friend today. He is happy to offer Maisie a favor for being a member of the village community. Cute, what is he giving us? Where are you two anyways? Oh, you're... You're doing gardening, seriously? Seji was here for that. Did he even take care of our chickens and stuff? Yeah, I think so. Oh man. I thought um, Michael wanted to give you a gift. He did! He brought pumpkin pie! That is so perfect! I mean, it's um, Harvest Fest and everything, and he brought pumpkin pie for everyone. That is so cute. Let's call everyone to that meal as well. Oh, Michael, that is so sweet. I mean, it's just the right thing to do when you're um, invited to someone's house for Thanksgiving. You bring dessert or something. Um, but that is so sweet. You see, Maisie wanted to bake something, but she didn't have any eggs, and then she didn't have the time, so... That is just perfect. So yeah, those two are just talking. Um, again, thank you so much. Let's have a hand for the hand, heart to heart. Um, thank him for coming. Ask him about the food, like, ooh, is that um, a new recipe you tried? It's really tasty. The happier your animals are, the higher quality goods they're produced. Yeah, I know that. I know that. Oh, whoopee gorge. Parsegat for bay? <laughs> you know that is so nice of you, Michael. If you ever need help with anything, just let me know. Let's offer him a um to help him with his errands. Cause that's oh look at those two smooching in the back. That was so cute. Um yeah, but I wanted to say that's just the kind of neighbor we are. Um and he wants something to eat or for us to talk to the foxes. I think we're gonna get, a, get him something to eat. That should be really easy. Deliver two choco berries. Yeah, we can definitely definitely do that. Um, we can do it right now, to be honest, but the event is almost over. I don't think we can do it in time. He'll just leave, so we are gonna do that another time. But yeah, we're gonna get you some choco berries. No problem. He's feeling really flirty. Hopefully not about us. Um, and reward earned, yeah, okay, thank you. Nice harvest fest, everybody. You know, everyone ate all of the pie, it's completely gone, um, but let's put away the leftovers, and the kids can help us clean up. Ambrose, you too, go ahead and clean up those plates. Everyone has to help out. Noel, where are you? Um... Wait, I don't even know if there is anything for you to do. You can take care of Lizzie. She's really stinky. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I wish kids could bathe Aww. the animals. Um, maybe you can just let her out. And then Maisie can bathe her in the morning. Because it's already pretty late and they're all really tired. 
All right, then why don't you go to bed as well? Everyone seems pretty tired. Yeah, you can sleep as well. And Ambrose just started doing his extra credit work on Thanksgiving. That is so cute, but okay, you can finish that and then I'll send you off to sleep and I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Rise and shine. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's 6 a.m. Maisie is just collecting some eggs from the coops because today I want to go ahead and sell some stuff down in Finchwick. Yeah, because we have a lot of eggs in the fridge and now we collected another 35 eggs. And I think we can share carbonara for the very first time. Maybe give him a treat before we do that. Yeah, then share his wool. Um, and I also learned that it's the twins birthday today. Yeah, you see it's Noelle's and Ambrose's birthday, but they have school in just a little bit. So um, we will celebrate those birthdays when they get back this afternoon. Oh, Arlo, what is wrong? Sorry, I don't have time for you right now. Um, let's also give a friendly treat to our cow. Give treat, friendly treat. Now she went inside. Please come out and let me give you a treat. Now it's working. Cute! And then we will milk you for the very first time. Oh, I missed seeing that we didn't have any cows or llamas for so long because it was just too much. But now it's all good. Yay. And let's... Um, I think we're just gonna make the farmhand service permanent scheduled farmhand. So we just have someone to feed the chickens, um, clean the sheds and stuff so we can focus on other stuff. And yeah, the kids are off to school. The farmhand will be here soon. Um, let me just get the stuff that we still have um, inside the fridge. So all of that milk, the jams, those eggs, the mayonnaise, we'll just sell all of that. I mean, we have 26 apples, what would we do with that? I wanted to can with all that stuff, but I just don't have the time. Like, let's just sell it, to be honest. The rest, I guess, we can keep. We can still use that stuff for something else. Um... And that store over here is not working. Like whenever whenever I open it, Maisie um, just changes into her bathing suit for some reason. And the stuff refills automatically, which I don't like because I want it to be realistic. Like, oh, I made this jam. Let's sell it. And tomorrow I'll make something else. But that's not how this is working. So let's just put everything into Maisie's inventory and sell it down at Finchwick. Oh my god, we have so much stuff. This will probably be a lot of money. And I'm happy about it. We can hopefully also sell the pumpkins over there um yeah just put everything in your inventory just like that and now here we are in finch week and we've been here for a while but i forgot to press record today it's not a great day for recording i shouldn't have done it i am all over the place but we sold our stuff and we almost got around 4,000 simoleons and i also bought some stuff to bake a cake for noelle and ambrose Maisie's like, oh, this bitch again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I mean, it wasn't that exciting. But I was thinking maybe we can call um, Michael over. Uh, invite him to hang out. So maybe we can give him the choco berries right now. Because of course I didn't sell those. I was smart enough not to do that. So we can deliver them to him. And there he is. Perfect. Deliver choco berries. Yes. Here you go, Michael. Some fresh berries for your chocolate, whatever you're doing. Hope you like them. And... Oh, Yamaris, that looks divine. Okie dokie, what did he give us? Ooh, we got some cheese, some beef wellington and some milk. I really want the recipe for golden treats though, to be honest. We also got an egg and some Growfest fertilizer, okay. But how do we get the golden, the golden treat? Google, how to get golden treat, <laughs> Sims 4. I don't want to know the recipe. I want to know how to, like, who's going to get me the recipe in the game. I guess it's just random who, who's going to give the recipe to you. Oh man, I was hoping it was going to tell me which town he's going to give it to me. But I mean, we've, maybe we have to try someone who we haven't done as much errands for. 
I think we haven't done as many for Agatha, so maybe let's offer her to help with some errands. Mm -mm -mm. Okie dokie, what do you want from us? Him. Harvest a uh, homegrown blueberry life. bush. We can do that. Morey. And maybe we can also buy a mystery box <laughs> from this stall. <laughs> um, ah, who knows, maybe Have there's a nice treat in there. Closer. And what you got for me? Open box. Don't eat the bread in your inventory, yeah, girl. Um, got chocolate treat. She. Okay, not too bad. Maybe buy another mystery box. Maybe we'll just buy a bunch of mystery boxes. Can we do that? Oh no, there was just one available. Okay, then I guess then let's go home. Bake the cake for the twins and harvest some blueberries if we can. Home sweet home. Um, okay, are our blueberries like ready? Oh, you're broken. Let's just replace that. Um, why are our plants as if they're not in season? I have a roof over them. Those are the blueberries somehow no i don't want to talk to you right now um somehow i cannot harvest them and our farmhand did not arrive and our animals are starving now great okay but how are you guys doing i think you're okay okay then i guess let's start baking because the kids are gonna be home from school soon uh which cakes can we make i wish we could put candles on pies because like the chocolate pie looks so good um, but we can't. Then maybe let's do a strawberry cake. Do it, girl. Why not? Oh, it's because Patchy is... Take... Patchy! Go away. Just go away. Please. I'm trying to bake a cake and you're in my way. Third time's the charm. Please just let me bake my strawberry cake. And put that stuff back where it belongs. I mean, I really appreciate your help and everything, but you can't just go ahead and eat my food without permission. Oh wait, now he's leaving the lot? <laughs> you need to go back where you belong. Okay, now Patchy's gone. I killed Patchy. Where are you going? Where are you going? She's in her bathing suit again. I'm done. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> As long as you get this cake done, I don't even care, girl. I don't care. Oh my god, maybe I just have to le delete this mod and put the sign away. Um, yeah, but now she's going back to bake the cake. Oh, Lizzie is hungry. Oh, shit. Um, okay, you have to wait a little bit longer because I don't want to cancel the interaction because I don't know if the cake um, will still get done in time. Okay, and the cake is done. Let's quickly add some candles to that. Add birthday candles. And now let's give Lizzie some food because we don't want you all to starve. I'm such a bad dog, mom. Okay, but Maisie, can you like change your outfit? We haven't seen that outfit in a while, so put that on. Yay, and the kids are done from school. They're back. Um, and you're really tense. Needs amusement. Okay, then I guess... Um, we'll have a little birthday party. Look how cute they look though. Oh, you guys come over here, blow out candles, make a wish. Maisie, go here. All gather around to wish the twins a happy birthday. And happy birthday, Noel! <laughs> Gonna age up now into a teenager. Okay. She's already so cute. Um, should we randomize her traits um, or pick them? I don't know. I might just pick them. I don't know. Maybe she's an insider. Love being in clubs, surrounded by their friends. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Um, but I want a negative trait. Maybe she's jealous. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Why not? And her aspiration. Oh my god, I don't know. Maybe also a popularity one. Neighborhood confidant. Jokester. Maybe leader of the pack. I think she's definitely a leader. Definitely a group leader. Okay. Oh, and she looks so adorable, you guys. Oh, she looks so different from everyone. Cute. And then put some... No. 
You put some birthday candles again so your brother can also blow the candles and age up before... <laughs> um, so cute with the text. Um, ah. Before anyone grabs a, a slice of cake. Um, make a wish. Oh no, Ambrose has to blow out the candles all alone. No, Maisie's come mm. back, back. At least she'll be here. Cheer him on. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're all coming back. Okay, cute. And now he's gonna mm -hmm. age up as well. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh my god, look at him. We know that he's a total nature guy. He loves the outdoors and he's an animal enthusiast. Maybe he's also a maker. Oh, I don't know. Cheerful might be a good trait, but that doesn't do so much. I want something. Living on a green street, constantly work towards making their environment more eco-friendly. Oh, maybe this one means that he's like find stuff in dumpsters or recycle discipline maybe it's just a dog lover for now and his um aspiration maybe he'll be the neighborhood confidant he wants to provide all manner of advice to be a positive influence in the lives of their neighbors yay okay let's do that oh i mean the lashes are a bit long but he's so cute look at him Okay, I'm gonna jump into Crass, give them a little bit of a makeover, and then I'll show you what they look like. Okie dokie, so a million years later, um, I was doing the makeovers, and then I got hungry, so I went to get some dinner, came back, finished the makeover, and now I'm finally done. Um, here you see Ambrose with his first everyday outfit. Their outfits are nothing special. I tried to keep it cottagey, but still kind of modern and what teenagers nowadays would wear. Um, but yeah, remember that they're living on a farm. That was kind of hard. This is Ambrose's everyday outfit number one. He still has the really curly hair that he already had as a child. Um, I think that's what Stan, his father's um, hair texture would have been if he were to grow it out. He had like pretty short hair, but I think um, yeah, that suits him really well. And here we have everyday outfit number two. Wearing mostly earthy tones like brown and green. And I think they look really good on him. Here's his formal wear. Really formal jacket. But you know, the shirt is not buttoned all the top. And he has sneakers with it. So it still looks um, kind of teenagerish. This is his athletic wear. His sleepwear with a little dog on his t-shirt because he's a dog lover and an animal enthusiast and I thought that was cute. This is his party outfit but he still kind of looks like he's working on the farm so that's that. Here's his swimwear, his hot weather outfit and his cold weather outfit again with the greens and the browns. I think they look best on him so that is Ambrose. And here we have Noel. Um, as you know Noel is kind of a leader and really confident. Um, but I still wanted to keep her very natural, but not too cottagey. Because um, I don't know, I don't see her living in Hanford on Bagley forever. I think she wants to move out, maybe go to college. Um, yeah, so I still think she looks like a cool country girl, but not too farm outfit like. It was really hard. It's hard to explain. <laughs> But this is her first everyday outfit. Um, her hair texture is really similar to Maisie's. They are more like wavy curls. Uh, yeah, this is her second outfit. Really laid back, nothing too special but still modern with the Black Lives Matter t-shirt. I totally see Noelle as being an activist and standing up for herself and for her loved ones. And this is outfit number three, probably my favorite out of all of these. I love the color of the pants. I think this one's a little bit more special but still um, yeah, very Noelle. This is her formal outfit. I really love this one. Um, her hair's uh, more wavy with this one, not as curly, and she braided the front pieces, and this dress is adorable. But to be honest, she doesn't look like a teenager, like even Ambrose, they look like adults. Uh, I really have to get the preteen mod, I, mm, I keep on forgetting to download it, but I'm gonna get it soon. Uh, yeah, she looks so grown up, it's so adorable though. This is her athletic wear, and I'm just now realizing that her and Ambrose are totally matching with their 
athletic outfits wait yeah you see with the yellow top and the light bottoms they can totally go to the gym together and be like those twins that wear matching outfits that was not intentional but yeah this is her sleepwear uh nothing special her party outfit it's kind of giving me hold down throw down um yeah but i think it looks good on her this is her swimwear she's wearing a lot of yellow and orange because i think that looks amazing on her her hot weather outfit really really cute she actually has two hot weather outfits this is number two yellow again of course her cold weather outfit number one and her cold weather outfit number two and that it is for their outfits and i'm gonna wrap this up part up here i hope you enjoyed it i hope you're excited about noelle and ambrose being teenagers um yeah if you have any ideas or recommendations for their stories uh, what they might be into what they're gonna do with their lives leave them down below as well as any feedback you might have for me also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it and yeah hopefully you have a wonderful wonderful day bye